means that Jerry Gomez tonight will move into midfield. Sydney Croatia last week won twice against South Melbourne to claim the Beach Fashions Cup. This lineup shows one change from the side that won down in Melbourne at the weekend. Shane Clinch comes in for the injured David Rezzo. Adrian Rosic collected his second cup of the season. Sydney Croatia, of course, winning, winning the State Bank Cup here in New South Wales in the pre-season. The referee for tonight's match is Mr Chris Bambridge, a FIFA official, who's come up from Melbourne. So a quick check of the watches. Remember tonight we must have a result. The scores are tied after 90 minutes. There's 30 minutes of extra time. Should still be tied then. It's on to a penalty shootout. Marconi, the green shirts, the white shorts, get us underway. They're kicking from left to right in the first half. Early touch of the ball for Bobby Catlin. Catlin, who really has come on a lot this season, fought just before the opening game to replace the injured Bruce James. And he really has done well for Marconi this year. Slater nod that one through well read and cut out there by Tony Henderson forward now for Farina slipping away there by Viestra certainly conditions here tonight It'll be a bit awkward for the players to adjust to a lot of rain in Sydney just 24 hours ago at that stage it was even doubt whether this game would go on we'll try and win today to ensure the game is played that wind in the first half is favouring Sydney Croatia Ozhikov on that far side going away from that challenge still Ozhikov playing that one across looks away by Calderan first corner conceded there by Steve Calderan but a good break on that far side by Zarko Ozhikov cut that one back behind in fact Robbie Slater and Steve Calderan was the player to the rescue so a worrying start now for Bobby Catlin he faces this corner, the swing in, as you can see there from that corner flank. Very stiff wind here tonight. Ozhikov. Made there by Paul Carter. Here from Robbie Slater, of course, those two great mates off the field. Both of them were looking forward to playing against each other tonight. And Frank Freena scored a hat-trick the last time these two teams met ten days ago. Challenge won by Wally Chavor. And Ante Ramora. On forward. Be Slater on the chase through. And followed there by Paul Carter. A throw on the far side. Some Sydney Croatia. Mark Jones. Graham Arnold, who scored on Sunday. Doing that one across safely. Taken though by Bobby Catlin. And joining me tonight, Johnny Warren. Johnny Marconi haven't had a game for 10 days. Asia have played two matches in that time. Yep. One well, wonders in, about the conditioning. Well, uh, it's a matter of how you want to assess the match, Mike. Three and ten, this is the third and ten days for Sydney Croatia. Are they going to be a little bit uh, tired, perhaps? Marconi, first game in ten days. Are they going to be fresh enough or a little bit out of touch? But uh, obviously a lot depends on the form of Frank Farina up front for Marconi, whether they can beat Sydney Croatia. And it's going to be a tremendous duel between those two on screen now, or, or just previously, Wally Savor has been assigned the task of marking Farina. And should he be able to take him out of the game, obviously it's going to be a big step uh, for Sydney uh, Croatia to win this match. Savor has been a tremendous marker of dangerous players throughout the season, particularly last Sunday against South Melbourne. And his task tonight is a very important one. Raviestra! Just wide there from Raviestra. Hasn't scored this season, hasn't scored for Croatia, in fact, since he joined them from Wollongong. Trouble all came, though, from the long free kick there from Vedran Rosic. Just laid off, in fact, by Graham Arnold, Ray Viestra, the player coming in. The shot wasn't too far wide. <laughs> Farina. And that one back, Carter in there first. Very goes to Sydney, Croatia. Now Viestra. Looking for Arnold. Right there by Gomez. Now Farina. 
Breeder being forced back. Tony Henderson there making himself available. Robbie Wheatley on that far side. Robbie Wheatley who's been playing so well in recent weeks in the right back position. Tonight switched across the left back. With Paul Cardi coming in the side. Pedro Rosic, back for Greg Woodhouse. We had a good cup final series, Greg Woodhouse. An outstanding match here last Wednesday. The first leg of the Beach Fashions Cup final. Now Wheatley. Ante Ramora. Down on his far as McCulloch. And McCulloch doing the return from Wheatley. Okay, they're losing a bit of territory. McCulloch. Greg Mason. Paul Carter. Bringing in the game being closely marked there by Wally Shabor. Free kick to Marconi for that shove by Wally Shabor. Now McCulloch. Paul Carter on the overlap. Looking that one across. This kick. Now low. Ball David Lowe, good play there by Graham Jennings. Now McCulloch, really scrambling the Croatia goal mouth there. Eventually they can clear. Steve Cauldron with the throw. Piestra letting that one go out of play. And a goal kick for Sydney Croatia. started from a Tommy McCulloch free kick and Paul Carter was the player coming through on the overlap and he whips this one across it was an awkward one for defenders and Croatia there were in trouble Graham Jennings the player slipping it wouldn't quite fall there for David Lowe it wouldn't fall there for Tommy McCulloch either eventually Croatia can get it clear now Carter is judging that header it falls nicely now for Slater Robbie Slater running into trouble and stopped there by Ian Gray. Now Carter. Henderson. Watch your black stuff! Wally Shavor and Slater. And tied it up there by Robbie Wheatley. So Roberto Vieri, Marconi coach. No advice in nine, in fact, tonight for both coaches. Of course, the losing team tonight. It's finished for the 1987 season. Now Gray. Good turn this from Ian Gray. Trying the shot. Took a deflection and away for a corner. Good turn that though from Ian Gray. So that would have been appreciated by Roberto Vieri. And Ian Gray turned so well there and made that couple of yards of space. Such a good striker of the ball. The shot there taking a deflection and going wide. So a corner now for Marconi. David Lowe's got across to take it. Steve Cauldrans moved forward, so is Jerry Gomez. This one swinging in. Just it away there by Greg Woodhouse. And the header coming in from Ian Gray. Finishes up wide. Croatia there appealing that Greg Woodhouse was impeded. Jerry Gomez and Steve Cauldron, both they're very strong players in the air, were forward for this corner. was injured and he came out to punch that one clear.
recover from that knock and will take the goal kick himself. Now Gray. Went there by Vedra Rosic. Slater. Mason. So he'll come up a bit short and he recover well. Mark Jones. Now Mason. Farina. Gray on the overlap on that far side. It's Gray and Jennings, the player coming across. And now Mark Jones. Slater. So ten minutes gone in the first half. Sydney Croatia nil. Marconi nil. Here's Mark Jones. Now Shane Clinch. take the lead and send their supporters wild. The shot has come in from Shane Clinch. It took a deflection, but I think Shane Clinch will claim it. Good run this though from Mark Jones that set up the chance. Jones cuts it back. Shane Clinch, but it took a deflection definitely, but Clinch will claim it as Croatian supporters go wild. Sydney Croatia 1, Marconi nil. the goal coming after 10 minutes. Shane Clinch, his first goal of the 1987 season. And that could prove to be so vital. Monteiro Mora is down in fact in the centre circle, he seemed to get a boot in the face. He carries on. Now David Lowe. Out there by veteran Rosic. One ball forward again, looking for Slater. Uh, that time by Paul Carter. Now Cordran. Still Steve Cordran. Maybe low. Still low, twisting and turning. Stop that from Graham Jennings. Jennings there, upended. And Frank Farina. Vieri, who wouldn't be too happy with that scoreline, showing that his son is training by a goal to nil. A bit more concerned, John, is that Marconi really haven't created a chance so far. No, they're not, uh, they've got stamp no authority on the middle of the park yet. Haven't used uh, Farina Rollo in front. And the ball not uh, running kindly for Marconi at present. So Ramora, Slater. Playing it forward, and this is Craig Mason. He's in there with the tackle. So I can be looking to this man, Craig Mason, to get them midfield of theirs working. And the colour two very important cogs in this Marconi side as the Astra just fly hacks that one forward. And now Henderson. Terrible bounce. It was rather ambitious from Ian Gray. I wasn't quite sure if that was meant for a shot or a pass. But eventually finishes up with Greg Woodhouse. Now McCulloch. Farina. Now low. Coming through is Ray Viestra. Farina. Jerry Gomez. Well, post ball. Farina with the header down. Touched away there. And, still and somehow Greg Woodhouse there has kept it out. But Croatia there were fortunate. All started with a long cross in from Jerry Gomez. The header down. Touched away there by Greg Woodhouse. David Lowe's shot there is stopped. Ian Gray can't force it over the line and it bounced nicely there into the hands of Greg Woodhouse. Looking out Robbie Slater. Slater there getting away once from Carter but not the second time. Now Paul Carter. Set there by Jennings. 
Paul Carter. And this one, in Gomez coming in. Inches wide there from Jerry Gomez. That's where he's so dangerous. The long cross came in from Paul Carter. Jerry Gomez ghosted in, climbed so well. Only inches wide. I think there's the key there, Mike, for Marconi. The last two incidents, they've built up the first cross from low, which Farina just headed over, and then the one we've just seen now. That's the type of game Marconi's got to play. They've got to build it a little bit. They're a good footballing side, but at the moment, for me, uh, except those last two incidents, they've played it a bit too direct. Just build it up and then get the cross in and using uh, Farina and Gomez, as they've just done recently. The player upended there by Jerry Gomez. Which results in a free kick. It's in Croatia. So the sign from the Croatia bench goes out. There's two minutes to go to half time. And in fact, on our watch, now we're playing stoppage time. Free Chris Bambridge starts to check his watches. As Paul Carter gets in there before Robbie Slater. Sydney Croatia to be taken there by Zarko Ozhikov. Looking for Graham Arnold, the way there by Henderson. Hopped on his way by Tommy McCulloch as the half time whistle goes. A first half that saw Sydney Croatia take the lead after 10 minutes from Shane Clinch, his first goal of the season. Marconi have created a couple of close chances just a couple of minutes before half time. With only one goal separates these two teams, the half time scoreline Sydney Croatia 1, Marconi 0. So Sydney Croatia get the second half underway, they're kicking from left to right and leading by a goal to nil. Both sides unchanged for the start of the second half, the teams that started the match. Remembering, Marconi now have just 45 minutes back into this match, otherwise their 1987 season will be finished. Greg Woodhouse who had a couple of narrow escapes at the end of the first half. He's quite a stiff breeze in this second half. His clearance there only picks out Jerry Gomez. Now low. Terry Mora tidying up as back in effect to Vedran Rosic. Now McCulloch. Certainly McCulloch and Mason. Two midfield players for Marconi. Really got to get more involved in this second half. McCulloch there, touching that one back to Cordran. And David Lowe, the player called offside. So much better than he's been playing up front in the last few matches for Marconi. Closely shackled tonight. For a player who's been such a prolific goal scorer over the years, he's only managed a couple of the season, and one of those was from the penalty spot. Now Slater. Ozhikov. Mark Jones. Having that challenge well there from Robbie Wheatley. In fact, the throw in has been given to Marconi, and clearly there you can see it came off of Robbie Wheatley. Steve Cauldron picking out David Lowe. Dante Ramora. Slater on that far side. Carter oh, was the player there first for Marconi. Play there from Paul Carter. Away from Ante Ramora. Still Carter. Could run this from the fullback. Tried the shot. Which he missed hit. And in fact, if that had been on target, it could have been a lot of problems for, for Greg Woodhouse. Must have been spinning. We could run this from Paul Carter. As you can see, he slipped and it was spinning. Could have been on target. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Zitch. 
tactics. So the throw on that far side to be taken now by Craig Mason. And Jerry Gomez. Still Gomez. The skills there from Big Jerry. Yes, we're there in pursuit. And Jerry Gomez there bringing down Graham Jennings. One thing that is evident tonight, John, there's nearly no set pattern to either side in their play. No, I think it's due to the very strict man for man marking, but uh, from Croatia's point of view, I'd be a little bit concerned about the thinness on the bench. They only have really Manus Lamond and Lung, young uh, Krizlovic. Lamond, of course, is injured. You do, would expect them to tire a little bit uh, quicker than Marconi. And as the game progresses, I would expect to see Marconi, uh, especially physically, get on top. I think to get back in the game, they really need a bigger contribution from midfield. Mason and uh, Gray and McCulloch are outstanding players, but as yet they uh, have to stamp their authority on the match. So Bob Catlin. Good distance this half with the wind at his back. Pushing there by Shane Clinch. So a free kick now to Marconi as the rain starts tumbling down here at the St George Stadium. Umbrellas now, the order of the night. So Tommy McCulloch scored a couple of goals from, created a couple of goals in fact from free kicks. A very similar situation just 10 days ago when Marconi ran out winners by five goals to nil. Ian Gray with the shot. Variation there. The colour low. And it was Ian Gray who came through and had the final shot. Gray coming in, giving it past the wall, but always going wide and high. Slater taking that one on his chest, but McCulloch was in there first. Now Viestra. Now Shane Clinch. Clinch floating that one across. Arnold coming in. The offside flag was up though against Graham Arnold. And Marconi now want to make a substitution. And Steve Maxwell is the player to come on. Steve Maxwell, the player bought during the off-season from Adelaide City, prepares to come on. As this cross came in, Graham Arnold there was the player caught offside. And Maxwell comes on, and it's Paul Carter. It's the player that goes off. So a defender replaced by an attacker. Steve Maxwell hasn't been included in the Marconi lineup for the last couple of weeks. Now gets his chance. Now Viestra. Penalised. The free kick quickly taken. It's Graham Jennings who's on his way now from Sydney, Croatia. Still Jennings. Looking there for the free kick. Referee Chris Bambridge was ideally placed and wave play on. Oh, Jennings again. He's so dangerous in these situations. Graham Jennings, such a good cross of the ball. Placed there by Robbie Wheatley. And he's won a corner. Ozhikov will take this corner. Opportunity now for Graham Arnold. And Mark Jones is the other player that's moved forward. Ozhikov with the corner to the near post. Looking there for Mark Jones. Now Henderson. Nice touch with Steve Maxwell since coming on as a substitute. Henderson out there to Ante Ramora. Good skills there from Ante Ramora. Eventually there, dispossessed by Jerry Gomez, and now Marconi can break. Still Gomez, Farina there, fractionally offside. And Frank Farina there, just missed time in his run. It was a good break there from Jerry Gomez. Now 
ideal through ball. Freena there just fractionally offside. So Nostevsky is the player to come on. And the player going off is Craig Mason. So Craig Mason, the ball winning midfielder, is now replaced by a creative midfielder. Good move, John. Yeah, I think Marconi have to try something. There's not enough method, and I think it's fair to say that they haven't dominated at the middle of the park. They have so many good players there, but it's an area where they haven't exerted their authority tonight. I think we're going to see uh, territorially, anyhow, Marconi on top for the remainder of the match. Backs to the wall fight by uh, Sydney Croatia to hang on to what they've got. And uh, to break them down, Marconi really need a lot more in a creative sense to happen from the middle of the park. Ante Rumora, now Ozhikov. Off, lifting that one inside off the head there is Tony Henderson now Maxwell it's the return Coney of course have got to play push players forward now where's the chance they're going to get caught at the back Ian Gray trying the shot good save there by Greg Woodhouse that was goal bound from Ian Gray and he brought out the best from Greg Woodhouse such a good striker of the ball Ian Gray looked up and could save that and it could be so vital Marconi get a corner to be taken now by David Lowe Just over the top there from Steve Calderan. Steve Calderan yet to score this season. Tonight will be the best time of all, I'm supposed to break his duck, and he wasn't too far away then. Now Gray. Still Ian Gray. Caught from behind by Ante Remora. Free kick to Marconi. Two players over the ball, McCulloch lifting that one in, the header, just wide from Frank Farina. A combination that worked so successfully ten days ago, McCulloch and Farina, then he getting on the score sheet tonight. McCulloch there just floating the free kick in. And Frank Farina, who climbs so well in these situations, gets above the defenders. It's only inches wide. Ten days ago, John, those went in. What a difference ten days make. Yeah, well, uh, and they're also in front by two goals then, so sometimes the ball bounces for you, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, just on Farina, I think Wally Shavor has done a, a great marking job tonight, developing a reputation as one of the best markers in the league. Not just a good marker, but also a very fair marker. Rosic with the long clearance. Steve Cordran was there first. So the Tommy McCulloch. Farina. Is that so well? Directed it off his chest into his path of an oncoming teammate. That time it was David Lowe. Now Henderson. Mistefsky. <laughs> now Lowe. Mistefsky goes for the return. Away that time by Wally Shamor. Called around. Now Henderson. That one in. Farina. Farina. There's the equaliser. Marconi are back on level terms. Frank Farina, goal number 17 of the season, and the goal coming after 35 minutes of the second half. The long diagonal ball there from Tony Henderson. 
onto the chest there of Farina. He does well, so well as he controls that quickly. The finishing there is clinical. The scoreline reads Sydney Croatia 1, Marconi 1. So Frank Farina, goal number 17. But it was set up there by the vision of Tony Henderson. And back in the Sydney Croatia penalty area, Greg Woodhouse has gone down and hasn't moved. Just as we're saying, Mike, uh, what a great marking job Wally Savore was doing. He's beaten in the air. What, what a tremendous ball from Tony Henderson. A great long pass for the ball with either foot. And Farina tucked it away well. Now we need Woodhouse back for uh, Sydney Croatia do. Because they have no uh, reserve keeper, as we know. And with ten minutes to go and the prospect of extra time, we'd now have to favour Marconi to finish perhaps a lot stronger. Steve Maxwell has been sent off. Now Maxwell's been sent off. Now that must have been for something that happened on Greg Woodhouse after the Farina goal. But Steve Maxwell is being sent off and certainly is an unhappy young man. be interesting if we can look at that replay again to see if we can pick anything up after that goal was scored but Steve Maxwell has been sent off Maxwell who came on as a substitute in the second half is the player that goes off was sent off by the referee after the referee had gone across and spoke to the linesman on that far side the linesman is Dave Allen so Marconi get back on level terms with 10 minutes to go but have got to play the final 10 minutes with only 10 men well Steve Maxwell's been sent off now the referee is going back again to talk to the linesman. Now. Well, Roberto Vieri is completely baffled by it all. Chris Bambridge now going to go and talk to Tony Henderson. Marconi skipper. The play recommences. We've wasted about four minutes on that. But Marconi are back on level terms. Sydney Croatia took the lead after ten minutes. They've now got to survive as Marconi will play like a team inspired with only ten men. McCulloch there trying to go through. And upended right on the edge of the penalty area. Free kick now to Marconi. So the referee Chris Bambridge, who flashed the red card a couple of times on Sunday in the playoff for a position in the National Soccer League next year. Let's have a flash one tonight to Steve Maxwell. kick Stefski Ian Gray the two players over the ball referee Chris Bambridge still trying to get the Croatia wall back the required 10 paces so Nostevsky through the wall 2-1 to Marconi the goal coming after 40 minutes and Nostevsky His fourth goal of the season, drilled it through the wall, past Greg Woodhouse and Marconi who reduced the 10 men just a couple of minutes ago, 
have now taken the lead. Sydney, Croatia one, Marconi two. They say it's harder sometimes to play against 10 men than 11. And Marconi now proving the point. So Sydney, Croatia who have led for so long now find themselves with just five minutes to get back into this game and to force it to extra time. Remember tonight, the losing team is eliminated for the 1987 season. Now Slater. Slater getting that one in. Arnold! Graham Arnold, still Arnold! And there's the equaliser! Graham Arnold! Sydney Croatia come back on level terms. The goal coming after 42 minutes, and Graham Arnold, eight goals now for the season. This hit the first one, scrambled it in while still on the ground, got it underneath the goalkeeper. Three goals in the space of seven minutes, Sydney Croatia two, Marconi two. Well, John, it's come alive. Certainly the crowd have. Well, and so is the game. Quite amazing stuff. Uh, just when you thought Croatia had it wrapped up, Marconi hit the, hit the lead and now uh, back on level terms. I would expect uh, Sydney Croatia wouldn't be looking forward to extra time. But now with Marconi down to 10 men, uh, anything could happen at all. Jack Freener there being pulled back by Graham Jennings. A free kick to Marconi. Unconfirmed report, Mike, just on that incident uh, with Maxwell being sent off was uh, some of the uh, media men here believe that it was not Maxwell that was involved in the incident. Another instance. It was another uh, Marconi player, hence the annoyance from Maxwell when he was sent off. Feeling was hardly judged done by. Cullet there with the free kick. Ball loose. Dostoevsky. Rosic. Pedro Rosic there, cool under pressure, getting that one clear. Now Mark Jones away from the colour. In fact, it's Ante Ramora leading the charge. Rosic. Searching ball. And there by Cauldron and his father is clinched. Now Ozhikov. Ozhikov. Kaplan grabs it at the second attempt. Ozhikov there, really tested Bobby Catlin, hitting that one from the outside of the penalty area. Goalkeeper gets it at the second attempt. Now Farina, still Farina. Good save this time by Greg Woodhouse. So play switching from end to end. Jennings, still Jennings, stopped there by Wheatley, and now Wheatley, Ante Ramora, ball for Slater, Slater gets it past the keeper, the missed kick there and eventually cleared by Jerry Gomez, now Ozhikov, it's by Gomez, stopped by Jerry Gomez, Farina, forward this time to low. Speed over low into the penalty area. Stopped there by Mark Jones. Good play there from Mark Jones. All the way back to Greg Woodhouse. Henderson. Now McCullough. And our watch now, the 45 minute period is up. We're playing stoppage time and there could be about three or four minutes of that. Now Henderson. Henderson trying the shot. Good save there by Greg Woodhouse. Corner conceded. Tony Henderson yet to score this season. Brings out the best there of Greg Woodhouse. Our Coney skipper comes forward. 
good goalkeeping there from Woodhouse. Corner has been taken. Now Henderson. Stopped there by Rosic. McCulloch. McCulloch again trying the shot. Safely taken though by Greg Woodhouse. So Greg Woodhouse certainly earning his corn tonight. McCulloch there gets the ball returned to him by David Lowe. Left footed shot. Safely taken there by Woodhouse. Now Henderson for Marconi. Ian Gray trying to slide that one through. Dante Ramora, in fact, has come to the sideline for some attention for Sydney Croatia, but still play continues. Oshikov on that far side, looking for Graham Arnold. Now Caldran. It's a return from McCulloch. Nistevsky. Good skills there from Nistevsky. Lowe's in the middle. Lowe coming in. Good save there by Woodhouse again. Stefski there got behind the Sydney Croatia defence. In fact, it was Farina who made the dash through, but some lovely skills there from Stefski to get away from those markers. And Farina coming in with Wally Shabor. Croatia there scramble it away. And Croatia now wanting to make a substitution with Manis Lamont, the player to come on. And Ante Ramora is the player that goes off. So Manis Lamont comes on. This situation tailor made for Manis Lamont. Now play two and a half minutes of stoppage time. Mistevsky with the corner for Marconi. Short one there, straight to Ozhikov, in fact. As the final whistle goes. This elimination semi-final goes into extra time. So now Jerry Gomez beaten that time by Zarko Ozhikov. Ozhikov trying to spread it wide, looking for Manis Lamont. Ball goes out of play, a goal kick given. Well, certainly the big discussion point during the break between the end of this match and the start of extra time was the sending off of Steve Maxwell. It seems from all reports. Max Wall can find himself a very unlucky man, in fact, to have been sent off. He was nowhere near the incident. In fact, from most people who watched the incident, they felt that uh, Greg Woodhouse was the player who was to blame. Tony Henderson there across. Marconi have got to play the last 30 minutes of this match. This extra time period with only 10 men. Remember, of course, if it's still tied after this 30 minutes of extra time, it'll be decided by penalty kicks. Now Viestra. Viestra away there by Caldran. Now Mark Jones. Here Jones. Ray. Jones. Stopped there by Catlin, who had come out for the back pass that never came. Now Shane Clinch. Mr. Long, player caught offside on that far side. Well, John, Sydney, Croatia, third game in ten days. They're going to feel the pinch now in extra time, and Marconi down to ten men. I suppose in some ways it just about evens it up. Yeah, even Stevens, but it's up to Sydney, Croatia really to use their new numerical superiority to build it up, use their extra man, use up the time and create the chances for uh, Le Monde and Slater in front. But I think we'll give up predicting after the last 10 minutes of the normal time, Mike. Quite sensational stuff. We saw more action there than we see in most of uh, a normal West End National Soccer League games and put full credit to both teams for putting on such a thriller for the crowd here. But Croatia have to play with their brains, not as much their feet. Lamont, who came on just before the regular 90 minutes. He plays Ante Ramora. Should be the freshest man on the ground. Still recovering, in fact, from an injury that kept him out of the second leg of the Beach Fashions Cup final. Take a bit from Rosic. The 
Dystra. Slater. Only that one back. Mark Jones just failing to keep it in. So a throw now to Marconi. Pressure by Zarko Ozhikov. Wilson Caldwell. So it's in the throw now for Sydney, Croatia. Now Arnold. It's going to keep that in, Graham Arnold, who scored the rising goal for Sydney Croatia that's forced this match to extra time Jerry Gomez headed on there by Nastevsky Zic Forward again, looking for the head there of Arnold. Touched on to Manis Lamont. Called offside. game seems in slow motion compared with the last 10 minutes of regular well, time. Well, it's, it's noticeable and understandable, particularly from Croatia's point of view. But they really have to keep the ball and use that extra man. Now Shane Clinch. Clinch. And I'm McCulloch. Stefski. David Lowe not running. Vedran Rosic. Now Viestra. Rosic. Oli Chavor. Lamont. Stopped there by Jerry Gomez. Farina. Now Gray. Bring that one through the middle. Nobody there though for Marconi. Ozhikov, trying the shot, Good save there by Catlin, now Viestra, curling that one in, away this time by Jerry Gomez, Ozhikov, spreading it wide, looking for Slater, Slater slipping, just failing to keep the ball in play, Bob Catlin there to the rescue for Marconi, Ozhikov there, really testing the Marconi keeper, Off there, made that yard of space, cut it inside. Save there by Rob, Bob Catlin. Now Farina. Just thread that one through for Ian Gray. Stefski. Now McCulloch. McCulloch trying the shot. 3 2 to Marconi. The goal coming after 98 minutes. And Tommy McCulloch. His first goal ever for Marconi. It could be one that's so important. Tommy McCulloch from well outside the penalty area. Gets it past Greg Woodhouse. Sydney Croatia 2, Marconi 3. The goal coming after 98 minutes. Sydney Croatia now with it all to do. The advantage of an extra man. Their third game 
in 10 days. Now Ozhikov. Jennings. Slater. Bobby Slater trying the shot that's taking the deflection. Safely through to Bobby Catlin. Slater there made that yard of space. Tried the shot again from way out. It took a deflection, it could have gone anywhere, but in fact, the deflection took the speed off the ball. And as you'll see there, it falls nicely for Bobby Catlin. And no worries for the Marconi keeper. Yes, for there, sold the dummy, but it was Wheatley who got it clear for Marconi. Now, Vedran Rosic lifting that one forward. McCulloch, the only player back, and to the rescue there for Marconi. David Lowe, away from Viestra. And David Lowe, starting that one through, Farina this time onside, and just over the top there from Frank Farina. A goal there, and surely Croatia would have been dead. Good work there from the former youth Socceroos, David Lowe and Frank Farina. Sending Wally Shavor on his way. Vedran Rozic. Shane Clinch. It's the one completely unmarked on that far side. Clinch picks him out. And this time stopped by Nastevsky. Now Graham Jennings. Stopped there by Jerry Gomez. And the free kick goes to Marconi for the ball there. On the Stefsky by Graham Jennings. So now Henderson, as the first period of extra time comes to a close, Sydney Croatia 2, Marconi 3, the teams will change straight round immediately. So Viestra comes off. Kristalic is the player that comes on. So Marconi get the second period of extra time underway. Tony Kristalic, the youngster who's been scoring goals regularly in the youth team this season for Sydney Croatia. Now comes on. Effort to get one senior level. Tommy McCulloch all the way back there to Bobby Catlin. And the onus really now, John, is on Sydney Croatia. Yeah, and the change is a good one. They had to gamble. They've got to bring on another forward, but it will be Marconi to use up the clock. Perhaps the occasional break from Farina. And it's really up to uh, Sydney Croatia to make the running now. David Lowe is the player penalised. Shabor. with his first touch. Now Slater. Mark Jones. Jones getting that one across. Ahead. The Marconi defenders. The corner is given. So Shane Clinch with the corner. Way there by McCulloch. Clinch. Yes. It's Lamont. Turning that one back. Yes. Goalkeeper there by Bobby Catlin. Kristalich was the player coming in. But Manus Lamont here did so well. Hit this one at the near post, hard along the ground. It's always going to be an awkward one for the keeper. Catlin very brave down at the feet there of Kristalich. Farina. Farina. Away from Wally Shavor. 
from David Lowe. Now Nestevsky, shot there, charged down by Clint, still Nestevsky, trying to cut that one back for Jerry Gomez, good intercept that by Bedran Rosic, and now Croatia breaking, Kristalic. Check there by McCulloch, Moshikov on that far side with a lot of space, queuing up now at the far post for Sydney Croatia, Manis Lamont, Lamont trying the shot on the turn, safely taken though by Bobby Catlin, Croatia there had players queuing up and Ozhikov eventually picks out Manis Lamont gets a good shot in on target on the turn controls it so quickly complete circle there into the arms of Bobby Catlin Shane Clinch Manis Lamont Steve Calder and his father as Vedran Rosic. Everybody now, with the exception of Greg Woodhouse, in the Marconi half. Ali Shavor. That one in looking for Arnold. Now Shane Clinch started the scoring tonight. A shot coming in from Mark Jones. Takes the deflection and goes wide. And Mark Jones there. Head in his hands. Now Arnold nods that one down. Shane Clinch there, cuts it back. A shot from Jones, ricochets off Tony Henderson, goes for a corner, taken now by Ozhikov. Gets the return. Still Zarko Ozhikov, curling that one in, fisted away there by Bobby Catlin. Now Graham Jennings trying the shot away, this time by Jerry Gomez. Wally Shabor. Now Crystal Itch. And it's Lamont. That one in, up the head there of David Lowe, back helping his defenders, Ozhikov. This time charged down by Farina. Ozhikov again, away this time by Kaldran. Now Kristalic, away by Nastevsky. And Vedran Rosic. Lifting that one forward, the offside flag this time stays down. Catlin there, spotting the danger. Down bravely there at the feet of Mark Jones. Tony there had pulled everybody back. Really backs to the wall stuff there by Marconi. Somehow they got kept them out. And eventually it was the long ball from Vedran Rosic. Mark Jones there beating the offside track and Catlin there bravely at his feet. Jones. Still Mark Jones. Stopped by Henderson. Now Farina. Farina now playing. Here's the double stopper. Bedroom Rosic. And then it's Lamont. Lamont trying the shot. Wasn't too far wide there from Manis Lamont. Lamont who hasn't scored this season so far. Trying his luck there from a long way out too far wide but Catlin had it covered Stefski there has made a run forward and Lowe's picked him out Stefski faced there by Wally Shavor Stefski just trying to shield the ball hold play up, waste some valuable seconds getting away there from Graham Jennings and then pushed down by Wally Shavor free kick to Marconi, they'll be in no hurry to take this now watch this 45 seconds left Finished fourth in the West End Soccer League this year. Sydney, Croatia, fifth. So McCulloch, the short free kick. Trying to take it into that corner and waste some valuable seconds. Conceding the free kick, which has been quickly taken. Now Jennings, trying to get it forward for Ozhikov. Throw to Marconi on the far side. <laughs> in no hurry to take this. Referee Chris Bambridge indicating he'll add time on for time wasting. On our watch now, we're playing stoppage time at the end of the second period of extra time. Chris Bambridge checks his watch and there it is. 
Marconi are through and for Sydney Croatia the 1987 season comes to a close the final scoreline after 30 minutes of extra time Sydney Croatia 2 Marconi 3